then we are back and Liverpool have just beaten Southampton 2-0 in a must-win match at Anfield. And, uh, well, what a way to start off what is f five five cup finals now, but now it's turned into four. Uh, and we've started in the right direction. Clean sheet, two goals, t uh, Mane to score, which uh, is unheard of over the past month or two. Uh, and Thiago Alcantara, which again is unheard of. And... Another thing which is unheard of is we've kept a clean sheet. But before we actually go into the game and dissect it, break it down, player ratings, all that sort of stuff, smash that subscribe button, smash the bell, smash the like button, smash everything. We are so close to 1K. You guys do not know how much it means for you to take your time out of your day to, to watch me. Uh, so that, that honestly means a lot. So just for, for yourselves hit that subscribe button you know we are so close to a k now and it'd be it'd be brilliant mate it'd be absolutely brilliant lad yeah but um we'll obviously get into the game obviously um started and actually before we actually get in uh again there will be a match highlights video coming tomorrow so stay tuned on the channel for that it is a bit of a positive one because we just won. but uh obviously when I see Fraser Forster in there, I thought, oh, no, we are not going to score today. This guy has an absolute, uh, insane record against Liverpool. He always saves uh, saves his teams whenever they play. I think he Southampton, every time we faced them from the League Cup back in 2017, um, you, you know, every time he's played, he's always, always been a difficult keeper to stop. So I always thought that... <laughs> when he kept saving those chances in the first half before Manny nodded in that open, I always thought, oh, here we go again. Uh, you know, that's going to be one of those nights in Anfield uh, where we, we, we don't pick up the three points, but we kept on grinding, kept on churning up the opportunities, and uh, we finally got one. Smoke Salah with the assist, absolutely unbelievable, but cross in for Manny, who nodded it in, sent us into half time with a 1 0 lead, which was obviously pivotal, um, settled the game down second half. But actually, a few shaky moments in particular from the goalkeeper, uh, from the defenders, also a little bit of uh, complacency creeping in towards the end of the second half but we got the job done and towards the end Thiago Alcantara sealed and wrapped up the three points which is unheard of but it was a lovely sight to see outside the box curl right into the bottom right corner you'll all see my reactions tomorrow but it's that's a must win uh, game in Anfield and that's it puts us back in the races. Now, what we need to accept going forward is that we cannot look at the table too much because we can, the players can't. The players have to be fully focused and driven that they need to take every game in their stride. And the next game is Manchester United on Thursday. Bearing in mind, they play tomorrow and they also play Tuesday before they play us on Thursday. We need to focus on this one now. Now, it's easier said than done. The table is changing all the time. The players can get easily distracted. But the only problem is we need to pounce on everyone else's opportunity. If we do our job, then we should get into top four. But that's been our biggest problem. We haven't been doing our job and relying on other teams to drop points. And they have done. We haven't gained an advantage as much. And that is where we have made that gap uh, a little bit shorter uh, this weekend obviously with Leicester dropping points uh, Tottenham obviously dropping points obviously Chelsea did win but that means we're champions for one more week so it, I'm, I'm fine with that and I don't think Chelsea going to implode anyway but what do I think we'll get top four I still think a lot needs to be done uh, from that performance. I don't think it was an absolutely grand performance, but yet again, I don't think it was a performance that was absolutely shambolic. I think there was a much uh, bigger improvement from a lot of the players, uh, but I think it's a, it's a good foundation. I think you can't go uh, from poor to absolute world class. You need to build your performance levels and your fitness levels and your, your match sharpness. And I feel like with the two-week break that these players have had, Today was a good way to uh, start off what needs to be a very crucial run here on in towards the end of the season. Now, I will get into player ratings. We'll start with the goalkeeper. Uh, he gets my man of the match. He made six saves. I think uh, Alisson was a key part. Obviously, he had a, a scary little moment uh, in the second half, which nearly cost us, but he paid. He bailed himself out of that. But I think he's bailed us out on so many occasions. And if it weren't for him in net, I don't think we would have won that game, if I'm being brutally honest. 
So I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. The back four, I'm going to give Trent Alexander-Arnold a 7 out of 10. I felt he was decent. I felt um, decent defensively as well. I think Redmond was getting behind him a few times, however. But I felt he did his job to a, a solid standard. And, uh, you know, we, we always know what he's going to get off offer up front. And I feel like um, he, he did offer that uh, offensive attributes today. Uh, so I'll give him a 7. Uh, likewise, Robertson, I think, was uh, was especially good. I think he, his defensive work was much better than Trent's, but I think uh, Trent's offensive ability was better. So I'm going to give him a seven just to weigh the, uh, weigh the two attributes out. The the, the back two uh, in Reese Williams, who obviously came in for the injured Ozan Kabak, I think did particularly well today, obviously. Alongside Nat Phillips, who I'm going to give an eight, I felt he was absolutely solid. His positioning was world class today. Uh, heading everything out, heading a brick out, heading that Chinese rocket which is supposed to be landing on the earth. I don't know when, but he would head that out if it come come in his peripheral. Honestly, uh, but um, Reese Williams did uh, very well today as well. Uh, considering these two haven't had much many game time, much game time. Before this season, I think they did particularly well tonight. And obviously the midfield three with in Fabinho and Thiago and Gini Wijnaldum. I think Fabinho, uh, you know what you're going to get with Fabinho. I think he's one of the best in what he does, if not the best. So I'm going to give him a 7.5. I'm going to give Thiago, obviously got the goal. I'm going to give him an 8. Uh, and Gini Wijnaldum, I'm going to give a 7. I think he was all right today. Uh, good engine on him. Uh, but the front three, now obviously Mo Salah had the assist, Firmino had an assist, he did come on. Jota showing glimpses of promising signs of the future, I think he was getting in between defenders and uh, putting defenders on their backsides, which is which is promising signs for a forward player. So I think uh, I'm going to give Jota uh, a 7, a uh, 6.5 sorry, I think he does need to improve a little bit. Mane... I'm going to give a 7.5 considering he scored tonight. He was getting in behind the defence. I think he played well. Uh, Salah obviously got the assist and wasn't happy to come off. But um, you know, Mo Salah adding another goal involvement to his uh, his remarkable tally this season. So I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. And Firmino obviously come on. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for the, the very few minutes that he did have on the pitch. But that is a wrap for today's instant match reaction. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all smashed that like button, smashed that subscribe button. I hope you have a smashing weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope that we get a K by next week. Come on, boys. Come on, ladies. Come on, gentlemen. I'm your boy, Alid, and you'll never walk alone. Onwards and upwards, four more to go. Don't get carried away.